Well, good morning. It's a lovely, crisp day, and we're here in Forfa. Now, I said to Bro would meet here at half past ten, and as usual, Bro is late. Yes, he is. Honestly. And today, Bro has worn his wearing his, wearing his <laughs> sponsor the new Spizwear. He's got Spizwear. Yes, Available he has. Available now on Jagbetty.com. <laughs> And also on his car. Unfortunately, this morning there is a, you can a tell fresh, from the seaside. A fresh seagull there, fresh Arbroath oh, Bridie. There it is. <laughs> Bridie? Or whatever you call it. Smoky. And hello, welcome to Spiz. Today we are in the Forfa area and we are going searching for the Forfa witches today. We have a bit of information about some of them. We're not too sure where the graves are, but uh, it's in this area somewhere. That's our first port of port of pop, first port of call for the day. Thank you. Thank you. There it is. Already. Right. We're going down there. Well, bro, you've made the first discovery of the afternoon. Well, and what is it? This is allegedly where the witches sat around the cauldrons and did spells and potions and things. And you can actually still see. Well, some of them here. Yeah. Well, not, not the actual. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, there's some sort of mound here. Look. Oh, look. What's this? Concentric circles. What do you think this is then, bro? I don't know. It's just uh... It's rather peculiar, isn't it? In the middle. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. Well, there's the lock. Which lock's that, bro? Is that four for lock? Four for lock, yeah. Well, there's four for lock. All I stopped today, is it? No, not quite. Oh, wow, what a lovely view. A swan. It's oh, fantastic! Not the top of that hill there. You can see it on the video. Oh yes, hang on, I can see that. There's a Balnashana monument. We might actually go there later. Oh yeah, okay. Yes, we will actually. We'll make a point of going up to that. Right, top of the. Can you see it in the right in the middle of the picture there? Yep. We're going to head up there today. That'll be our final destination. Right. Well. So there we are. That's our first uh, kind of discovery of the day. Concentric circles where the witches might have created some spells and potions. Onwards to the grave. Well. Nice, we think it's just down here somewhere. Yeah, according to the book of the Forfa, which is by, I don't know who this is by. Uh, by Fiona C. Schlahu. That's her name. Fantastic book, it's all about the Forfa, which is so Fiona, I am advertising your book for you. If you have on the YouTube. So anyway, um do you that you know that scene when they go on pantomime, it's behind you! <laughs> right, we have found the Four for Witches monument. There it is. There's a little saying just below it says just people, because I suppose at the end of the day they were just people. The witches, they were in fairly sort of chased around the countryside and persecuted just for being different, you know, which is really unfair. Horrific for the women to die like this. The famous one is Helen Guthrie, of course, isn't it? I'll take your word for it, bro. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, because there is a grave for her somewhere, a real kind of yeah, there grave. We go, look. Helen Guthrie. The trial of Helen Guthrie. Yeah, I'm sure she was a grass though, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She wanted to stay alive, so she grasped off all the other witches. So here we go, anyway. The four for witches, just people. Three out of ten on the spizometer. Three out of ten, because it's here. You don't have to look that hard for it. And it's bloody freezing. <laughs> what a nice little place, though. Eh? Thank you. Right, well, as part of our Forfa tour, we have come to rest in the Priory, where in 1327, Robert the Bruce came to bury his son. And there it is. But today we're going to try and do some climbing on the masonry. Look, it tells us to climb on masonry. Right, we're going to go and do climbing on masonry. I'm climbing on the masonry! It's what? very slippy, though. Fall, fall, fall. <laughs> 
I don't get down, help! I need to jump. Ooh! Ooh. Oh, I missed that. Oh, you ha ha you yes, clown! Safe. Oh, superb! <laughs> I nearly went over there. That's why. Now, resting in the Priory was very popular with the early Scottish kings. Uh, they used these grounds for hunting, uh, for bow and arrow practices, all sorts of things. It was a very popular destination for the early Scottish kings to come and not a holiday but just come and have a, a bit of a gathering, a bit of a shindig, you know, a bit of a Cayley as the Scottish people used to like to do when there was no electricity. Um, unfortunately today for some reason the, the Priory seems to be uh, fenced off. Damn it. That's, that is the haunted tower there. Bro has been here before and he is convinced he saw a ghost up there. Didn't yeah, he? bro. Yeah. One of those things he, he saw. Took it on photograph somewhere. Bro is a wee bit psychic, a wee bit paranormal. Yes, bro is a bit paranormal. <laughs> Paranoid. Paranoid, yes. And so during the, uh, the wars, Robert the Bruce had many, many castles destroyed because of their strategic positions. He did not want the English to get in control of them, so uh, a lot of them were destroyed. The rest of the Priory included, actually, so that's why it has now lain derelict since uh, 1490. Thank you. Where's Jag? There he is. So that's resting at the Priory. And that's where the ghost was up there. That's how we look. Nobody appears to be there, but when you watch it back on the video, you might see somebody. Well, I have managed to sneak in. past the fences and interestingly on one of these gravestones we have one of these smiley faces look at that it's like a cartoon remember bro and I saw them was it Abalemno I think <laughs> bro throwing things at me yeah so there was some graffiti from looks like I don't know, 1885? No. Anyway, there we go. So, there we go. On the old spisometer, probably a 4 out of 10 on the spisometer. Yes, we'll go for that. I'm not sure if we've been here before. We're starting to lose track of the places we've been. Anyway, there we go. Thank you. There we are, flask cam. And this is the first coffee off today. At Resonance, I'm going to give that a quick taste here on my flask, on the flaskometer. Flaskometer. Oh, it's a bit sweet. But I'll give that a five and a half out of ten on the flaskometer today for the coffee. Thank Very you. Very good, bro. It's oh, good, though. My flask is bigger than Pro's flask. And Pro's flask. Feeble thing. Yeah, crap. Yes, well. Let's have a taste. It's all in the taste, though. Let's have a look. There we go. Here's Pro with his flask cam and. Out of ten, please, on this flaskometer. You got to taste it like wine. Sniff it, <laughs> it, and then. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually good. One more taste. Beautiful. I'll give that an mm, eight out of ten. Oh, crikey! Just a perfect taste today. Oh well, good for you. Oh, you <laughs> 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 Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>